Hey, how's it going there, folks? Welcome back here to a Wednesday or Thursday afternoon, excuse me. About 2.51 p.m. here, California time. Taking a live look at Iceland. Who would have thought, right? Looks like it has finally went once again after being under quite a bit here of inflation recently. Uh, this is definitely a spectacular uh, fountaining display being observed out here across Iceland right now. Uh, very vol a lot of volume of magma coming up and creating these beautiful lava fountains here. As, it, as you can see, it goes on and on and on. This is the live from Iceland site here. Notice the uh, lava flow is starting to get uh, ramping up a little bit there. You can check out uh, this site, livefromiceland.is, where it shows uh, a number of different uh, webcams here looking at this current eruption. So pretty lengthy. Uh, as far as earthquake activity goes, let's go check out the uh, map here real quick. And uh, wow, yeah, we definitely seen a, uh, a bunch of earthquake activity here, although not quite as much as what I would expect prior to uh, seeing the eruption occur here. About 128 earthquakes on this map of various magnitudes, and it looks like the eruption is in the same region as the previous eruption here around the craters area. Uh, let's go ahead and see if there's any update yet put on uh, the Icelandic Meteorological Office here. Uh, it looks like they have updated this. Um, as of right now, the fissure is extending north and south. The length of the crack, or at least the fissure, has not been estimated at this point. So this is fairly new, uh, happening here within the last 45 minutes or so. Uh, no seismic activity is observed to the south along the magma corridor. <laughs> the magma uh, area most seismic activity is to the north which indicates that the magma is making its way to the north <laughs> goodness that sounds about right right if it's cold outside when you walk outside you realize it's cold something like that um this is just being translated here from icelandic to english that's why the wording is off a little bit either way uh, the source here is just east of the slingarfell region so that would put it at the area right about here in the same region that we've seen the last eruption right about here there's slingar fell i had a little bit of concern though that we would see maybe a fissure event take place further down south here due to all the elevated earthquake activity recently but uh, uh, that's good news here that it's happening up north in the craters area so we'll continue to watch that and monitor it again a uh, beautiful display of fountaining going on there across iceland uh, this could last for a little while because uh, well over 20 million cubic meters of magma underneath this area. And in fact, the highest level observed uh, more so than any other eruption here in the past few months. So that tells you that, uh, you know, there's quite a bit underneath here. And this could continue uh, as far as this spectacular fountain goes for a little while. Again, live from Iceland.is is the site for the visual perspective. If you want to check it out, we'll cover this and more later in tonight's update. Uh, I think I'm going to kick back here and just watch these uh, uh, beautiful lava fountains and uh, some flow going on there. Absolutely breathtaking, to say the least. All right, folks, stay safe out there. We'll catch you guys back out here a little bit later on this evening. 